Nowadays, even a conventional endoscope can reach the stomach very easily. So uh, we're thinking that, you know, uh, in the future, we want to test the more actually in the part uh, below, you know, the stomach. So that's, for example, the small intestine, that region, because those regions are very torturous. Uh, so we're thinking of using the slime robot in those regions. And uh, the operation, I think it really depends on the shape and, uh, you know, the size and, uh, you know, uh, but in minutes, I think we can finish this kind of encapsulation. Later, perhaps we want to mount, uh, you know, put our permanent magnet to a robotic arm and also the imaging. So we hope that we can use some kind of uh, clinical imaging tools, such as the X-ray fluoroscope to do the, uh, you know, this real-time tracking of our slime robot in the body. The one big challenge we are facing is uh, how to do very good uh, bridging of the soft material and also the robotics technology. You need to think about how to how to integrate the machine intelligence with those kind of soft material. Mm -hmm.